No one dare say that man's creativity has been dulled by the lure of easy living in this post-industrial age. With ever smarter computers and AI helping along the way, the wild ideas of the past are becoming reality. Hello, I'm Glenn, and let's talk about innovation in the area of transportation. I'll share some fantastic new products which demonstrate the human spirit of innovative creativity. Number 10. Sky, developed by Alaka E Technologies in Massachusetts, is a radical air mobility system that may become the Uber of the sky. It is the first hydrogen-powered electric vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL, vehicle. They say they have a prototype five-seater multi-copter taxi capable of a 400-mile range. Its air taxis will cost the same per mile as taking an Uber using a clean energy source. The air taxi can carry up to 1,000 pounds and travel at 118 miles per hour with fly-by light fiber optics based controls for EMI and lightning protection. Number nine. The radical looking vehicle, the Eximus 4, developed by Dalarna University and Chalmers Technical University in Sweden, has delivered an energy efficiency world record. It won the Delsbo Electric 2019, a competition where students build battery-powered rail vehicles to compete in energy efficiency. The new world record for energy efficiency means you can travel about 46 miles on the energy that's contained in a teaspoon of gasoline and it's likely the most energy efficient transportation of a person ever. In the Eximus 4, a person could travel the distance between Stockholm and Buenos Aires using less than one liter of gasoline. The contest takes place on rails to minimize rolling resistance and requires contestants to drive just over two miles carrying six passengers. Delarna University has a unique take on the design process. Students must build a brand new vehicle each year and they are only allowed to examine previous year's vehicles after they have created a concept of their own. Number eight. Say goodbye to the heavy, bulky lithium ion battery packs on e-bikes. Now a French company, Pragma Industries, Early this year showed the world's first commercial-grade electrically-assisted bike powered by OCS fuel cell technology at CES 2019. Inventors say the fuel cell and hydrogen storage integrated inside the Alpha delivers an unrivaled range of 93 miles on a single charge and can release its hydrogen in about two minutes. A new and improved Alpha bike was unveiled this past August at the G7 World Summit in Biarritz, France. The Alpha provides constant range and performance in any weather condition. Pragma Industries, along with Ergosoup and H2 Tech Consortium, showed the bike at CES 2019 and was an Innovation Awards honoree. It is some slick looking e bike. I want one. I'm Allie, and it's Mind's Eye Trivia Time by looking at just these images. Do you know what this is and where it's from? Leave the correct answer or your best guess in the comment section below. Number seven. Here's a practical idea from Japan, equipping hybrid cars with solar panels. In July, Nido, Sharp Corporation and Toyota Motor Corporation announced a plan to begin public road trials to assess improvements in cruising range and fuel efficiency of electrified vehicles equipped with high-efficiency solar panels. The new Prius models will have solar panels built by Sharp, thin films that are around 1 100th of an inch thick. While they won't supply all the car's energy, the solar panels could ease electric vehicles' driving range anxiety and can charge while the car is being driven. Number six. Here's putting the power where the watts are. 
the world's first full-size electric port tugboat, will soon be on duty at New Zealand's ports of Auckland. The Dahman RSD, or Reversed Stern Drive, E-Tug has been purchased from the Dahman Shipyards Group in the Netherlands. The E-Tug will likely keep up with the port's best diesel tug, but will do so without the harmful diesel smoke. The tug is expected to be delivered in 2021. The battery electric tug will be 81 feet long, able to move at nearly 15 miles per hour, have two azimuth thrusters with 9.8 foot diameter props, and will be able to move three to four ships per charge of its 2,800 kilowatt hour batteries, or three to four hours of operation. A fast charge is expected to take around two hours. The initial cost is reported to be roughly double that of a diesel tug, but will cost less to operate and maintain. Number five. Need your snow groomed in an earth-friendly way? Try the emission-free Piston Bully 100E Snow Groomer. German-built Piston Bully says its 100E is the first fully electric solution for the snowy ski slopes. It has two rows of tracks powered by rows of hard rubber wheels. The battery energy capacity is 106 kilowatt hours with a rated voltage of 400 volts. After six and a half hours, the battery is charged with an average driving time of two and a half to three hours. The 100E is undergoing pre-production field testing and seeking customer feedback before they develop a production vehicle. Number four. How would you like to meet one of these on your ride in the country? This is the T-Pod. The Swedish startup company Einride says it's the first truck designed for electric power and autonomous driving, saying it is safe and cost-effective, making some transport solutions obsolete. The vehicle doesn't have a cab and is SAE Level 4 self-driving and can be remotely run by a human operator. It has self-awareness and uses cameras, radar, and LiDAR to run safely. This big box can hold 130 Euro pallets and has a range of about 124 miles on a full charge. Its top speed is about 52 miles per hour. The company is also working on the T-Log, a similar truck but with a flatbed made for the logging industry. They look like solid brutes to me. Number three. Another autonomous heavy-duty truck is here from a big name in heavy hauling, Volvo. This is the Volvo truck's Vera. It is sleek looking, almost sports car-like, but with enough guts to pull the largest trailers with ease and with finesse. The Vera has the same drivetrain and battery packs found in Volvo's other e-trucks and is controlled and monitored via a control center, making transportation safer, cleaner, and more efficient. Volvo first assigned the Vera as part of an integrated solution to transport goods from a logistics center to a port terminal in Gothenburg, Sweden. A collaboration between Volvo Trucks and ferry and logistics company DFDS. Number two. The king of electric vehicles is here. It's the Kuhn Schweiz AG Construction Machinery's E-Dumper. The world's largest electric vehicle is 110 tons heavy when fully loaded. The prototype E-Dumper has a 600 kilowatt hour battery and has very efficient regenerative braking, saving 50,000 tons of fuel a year, according to the company. It's being used at a mountainside quarry in Biel, Switzerland and is capable of delivering 60 tons of lime and marl. This thing is huge. Its drivers have to climb nine stairs to get into the cab, with the tires more than six feet tall.
Number one. The ubiquitous ride-sharing company Uber is hard at work planning what they envision as the future of transportation, aerial ride-sharing. In 2023, Uber plans to give riders the option of an affordable shared flight. They hope to begin an aerial offering that's safe, quiet, and environmentally conscious, and that extends the reach of existing transportation options. They want to extend their point-to-point -point transit options to include flight, using a network of small electric VTOLs that can take off and land vertically. They want to develop a network of skyports to support an urban VTOL network that would be more cost and space efficient, making use of repurposed decks of parking garages, existing helipads, and unused land surrounding highway interchanges. These are only 10 of the thousands of exciting and promising new projects and products being developed by creative minds and forward-thinking companies around the world. What did you think of this listing? Any stand out for you? Let us know in the comments section and let us know your favorites. Check the details of the items in the box below.